in this clip, we're going to use a tool called shadow box to create a little buckle piece for the belt. So the first thing I want to do is append a raw piece of geometry to the end of our subtool list. So I'm going to come down to append and let's just append the polymesh 3d star. All right. Now what I want to do is go ahead and turn off the visibility on all these. So I'm only seeing the star itself. You try solo, but I think because of the way that it works, you might not see the resulting geometry. Okay. So now we're going to come down under the star, under the geometry, we're going to go into shadow box. So you can see the shadow box section here. I'm going to change our resolution maybe to 256 or 512. And let's just hit shadow box. So now you can see that the star geometry has been converted. And what we're looking at is that it's the result of the intersection of these three masks. Okay. So we've got the star shape here, and then you can see from each direction, the silhouette matches up and it uses the intersection of those masks to create the geometry. Let's go ahead and turn off perspective. So we're looking at it straight on. So I'm going to go in, hold down control and then alt to unmask everything. I'm going to make sure to face in the right direction. I'm also going to turn on our symmetry. Okay. And so let's just take a quick look at this. So if I draw something out in here, just draw something like that, you can see that it shows up. Now it's assuming that we want to have a thickness here, even though we don't have any masking, but if you wanted to make it thicker, for instance, maybe this thick, you just draw the mask out and you can see now it's an intersection of this mask and this one. Now it doesn't have to be like that. We could come in and unmask areas in here and you can see that starts to cut away. And so you can see that we can get some really interesting shapes here. This is good for some kinds of hard surface shapes and things like that could be good for. So what we want to do is create a, uh, an interesting looking buckle. Uh, it's going to be gold when we're, when we go through the, the rest of the courses, uh, to create the materials for these. And so think of something that's ornate, something that goes along with the bird like culture, something like that. So mine's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go in and just start up at the top and just create and make sure to hold down control, create a shape like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come down and let's do kind of a shape like this. Kind of like that. And then let's come on the sides and do the same. Kind of staying within that square. So something like that. Now we can always come back in with our masking, sharpen things up a little bit if we want to. You can also turn on our transparency. So we can see things a little bit better. So we can tweak it a little bit. And then you, you can change the thickness. So if you want it to be super thick, you can do that. If you want it to be, you know, just a little bit thicker, can come in and change the thickness that way. Okay. Now when we're ready to be done with this particular piece, we can turn off shadow box and that leaves us with our geometry, which we can then sculpt. So we can come in with our smooth, kind of smooth everything out. You can see we're kind of smoothing things out, thin them down, maybe at the ends. You could come in here with your Damien standard brush and Start to add, you know, raise detail along the edges if you want. And do any sort of sculpting that you want to on the resulting piece. Kind of do the same thing down here. And then down here. But the shadow box gave us the opportunity to just use a masking to create an interesting piece. And so now we can go ahead and turn back on all of our visibility and then place our buckle. So I'll go ahead and turn everything back on. Let's go ahead and get the buckle. We'll go to move and I'm just going to move it forward and up. Let's scale it down. And knowing that we're going to ha have those gold pieces on the front of this belt, you know, right on the intersection there, 
I want them to kind of just overlap those a little bit and they'll sit kind of in front of them. I'll go ahead and rotate it to match the position here and let's move it down a little. So something like that. All right, so you can create any kind of shape that you want for that buckle, make it as ornate as you want to. All you have to do is then just move it into position, scale it into position, and you've got your geometry. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to do some sculpted detail on this medallion. And so we'll use another kind of symmetry to make this go a bit faster, and we'll do that next.